This video is sponsored by Squarespace. For this week's video, I caught up with Team GB climber Erin to learn a thing or two about the next generation of strong comp climbers. Erin has a very impressive resume of results to her name. She's the current British lead champion and she's a regular face on bouldering and lead podiums nationally. Erin was kind enough to humour me on a quick session on the V8 circuit at our local gym, but the session quickly evolved to see Erin crushing projects in the orange circuit, which are boulders anywhere between V8 and V11. So Erin is a Team GB climber, she's on the junior team and the senior team and today we are going to be going around some yellows and Erin is going to be teaching me a thing or two about how to climb. I'm going to be trying to keep up except there's absolutely no way that I'm going to be able to keep up. First we're going to try and like warm up into things. So we're going to start on a purple which is V5 to V7 at the depot. Do you want to go first? I'll go first. Let Erin go first. Erin can show, show me the way. It feels like you want to put a toe in here, but I can't. You went off the... Oh! You went off the lower hold. And I tried to bring my feet up. Yeah. Right. I yeah. think you could get a toe, but you'd have to use the higher foot. Yeah. Which would be a bit awkward. Oh, man. <laughs> Whoa! I think you can pretty immediately tell the difference between someone climbing at my level and someone climbing at Erin's level in route reading. I feel like you had a pretty good plan going in and you executed it quite quickly, whereas my plan has changed maybe four or five times. See what the rest of it's like. Oh, <laughs> For the second boulder we stuck with steep terrain, but we moved on to some smaller holds with some committing moves. Yes, nice. Come on, Erin. Go up. The first pinch isn't very good. The first pinch, uh, this one. Yeah. The first move itself looked quite, um, I had to really engage the shoulders to yeah. hold it. You might be able to go out right first so it's not as like. Yeah. And then get the leg up.
Oh, it's big. Oh, no. I think it's, I had that moment of hesitation before going for it. I was like, I'd kind of already conceded the boulder in my head. I have my right foot on the one sloping down so that I pulled more to my right foot. Okay. Other than that, I just make sure I get into it. Yeah. So before we get into the rest of mine and Erin's session, I wanted to first have a quick word from the sponsor of today's video, which is Squarespace. So I've been working with Squarespace for a while now. You'll have seen them on my channel before. And we use Squarespace to host our online store, hannahmorrisbouldering.com. I also use Squarespace to host my online blog. So with Squarespace's blog page, you can create blog posts from your computer or from your phone using the Squarespace app. You can tag and categorize posts. You can enable comments so that you can create discussion underneath your posts. And you can synchronize your posts with social media. And if you would be interested in trying out Squarespace yourself, you can head to www squarespace.com forward slash Hannah Morris and then when you are ready to launch your own website perhaps you want to start an online blog or you have products digital or physical that you want to sell online you can use the unique code Hannah Morris for 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain so now back to the depot and back to climbing with Erin We then decided to move up to some yellows, which are V7 plus, and the upper end of my project grade. I think, yeah, usually I'd flash them, but then some of them are like really hard. We started out with this corner right. climb, which climbs into a steep section of wall on some small crimps that require good core tension. Very oh, crimpy. Nice. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. They're all quite good though. Was the square hole better or worse than uh, you were expecting? I think it was better. Okay. Especially over to the left. To the left bit? Yeah. I can't. Maybe I should try it the proper way. Out of interest, if you tried that move, do you see so if you think it's hard? Yeah, if you. It does look hard. <laughs> I think because you have to like reach. Oh god. <laughs> that's definitely harder. I think that's harder. It's because it's shouldery but not you, just, you, you can't tuck the shoulder properly it. in because the yeah. hole's like open. It's like the wrong way. Okay, back to the original method. Be able to skip out the first move, but still starting with your left foot on. Oh. <laughs> Not like that. How would you decide that like, if you were doing a competition? 
and like you were saying yesterday, you're doing loads of comps in practice. If you can like see those three different methods, how would you yeah. pick which one to do and just hope you get it right? Uh, I think I would, I guess, sort of decide whilst I'm on there, but once I decide, then try it, because otherwise I'm going to hesitate and fall off. What's this, the aftermath? <laughs> this is comp sim aftermath in Unity. Obviously very left-hand oriented. Yeah, every <laughs> finger takes up on the tips. <laughs> You can't be getting much friction through that. Oh, crimps are okay. I'm not sure how slopers will go. Yeah. <laughs> we thought that the yellows were looking a bit too easy for in. So <laughs> we're moving on to some of the orange circuit which at Depot Sheffield I think I think it's down as V8 plus but I think that could be anywhere from like V8 to V I don't know like 10 ish it's quite shouldery yeah I don't think it looks too bad after that move though this orange boulder revolved around a shoulder intensive move out to the left to a dual texture sloper Erin's first few goes on the boulder looked really promising, but she was just struggling to keep the right hand in contact with the right hold to compress. Yeah, come on. Yeah. A switch from a heel to a toe made the distance to jump a little less, meaning that Erin had less swing to contend with on. on the slope holds. Strong, come on. Nice, Erin, go on. Come on. Yeah! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Solid, come on, come on. Yes, are in. Come on. Yes. Yeah, my God. Nicely done. I do not know how I held that. <laughs> Okay. What was the difference that time? Yeah. <laughs> Try hard. <laughs> My right hand didn't come off. Yeah. We then moved on to a project Erin had already worked in the gym. This boulder requires a stretched out toe hook and some powerful backwards leaping off some pretty awful looking slopers. <laughs> Have you tried it beyond that move? Yeah, the top isn't too bad. Yeah. I might have to go with two hands. Yeah, Sarah, come on. Yeah, come on. Oh. Feels like a good hold, but... Yeah. With the big the sloper that you're like matching. No, the, or the, the one you're going to. Yeah, that yeah. one. It's just the swing's so big. I think though with these types of moves, like one tiny thing can make it feel so much closer. So yeah. just keep going. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Go on. Oh. Is that going both hands at once? Yeah. 
Is that what you've been trying previously? I think I've tried a mixture of both yeah. hands in one hand. I just don't know if I can keep my right hand on because it's not very good. I'm going to try one hand going to the jug. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and keeping the right arm for like a bit of opposition. Try and push as far as I can with it. Yeah. Better or worse? I definitely think that's better. You don't? I know, I definitely do. You do you think it's yeah. better? I also only put one toe in, which was better, I think. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that looked good. Oh, better. Yeah. Yeah, a bit. okay and then it just goes yeah yeah on the way to our last boulder of the session erin spotted this cool looking orange in the corner the climb starts in a press position with some teeny tiny textured holds and progresses onto this cool human flag-esque move on some smaller crimps yes come on It was a great first attempt. How did it feel? Uh, a bit desperate. Oh. <laughs> it looked like very in control and like it didn't look desperate. <laughs> okay, that's good. <laughs> I think it's doable. Yeah? Yeah. That first uh, like big move into the first smaller holds, so cool. Yeah. They're quite good. Just a bit small. Yeah. Surprisingly good smear. Yeah? Did yeah. you end up using the hold that you didn't know what it was for? Did you match it on the... Um, no. I still have no idea what that's for. <laughs> it's a decoy. Just throw you off the scent. It's horrible. <laughs> to wind down the session, Erin picked out this orange boulder to finish off. Oh my god. How did it feel? <laughs> hard. Everything feels hard. <laughs> I 
I'm pumped. <laughs> <laughs> what was the top like? Or after the after uh, that move? It was okay. Yeah. The pinch wasn't as good as I thought it would be. No. Thank you very much for watching that session. I hope you enjoyed watching Erin on the yellows and then some of the oranges. He definitely taught me a thing or two about reading routes and yeah. going in with a plan. And also watching you climb, I find you're just like so precise mm -hmm. and so careful. Whereas I feel like me in comparison, I like, because I've not stuck to a plan or I've not made a plan before I got on the wall, yep. I'm like all over the place and like, it's, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's all over the place. <laughs> but it was, um, yeah, thank you very much for taking the time to come down and, and climb. And I'll leave links to Erin's uh, social media in the description of the video. So do go check her out and keep an eye out for Erin on the international comp scene. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Thank you to Depot Sheffield for letting us come in and film today. Um, and if you want to try any of the blocks that Erin and I tried, then come down in kind of like the next four weeks or so and they'll still be up. But other than that, thank you very much for watching and thank you to Erin for joining me and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.